Hey guys, my name is Ben and welcome back to episode 71 of your bucket plugin tutorials. Workspace is, is different and organized now. Just just made a new one and so I'm going to do all my, my bucket stuff. So you don't have to see like all the other projects I've going on <laughs> randomly down the side. So this is episode 71. Last episode we looked at falling blocks and how to make blocks fall and stuff. This episode we're going to be looking at how to make it sort of in, in explosions where blocks go flying sort of like all about the place. So instead of them just disappearing and then a few falling on the ground, we're going to make these blocks fly all about the place. So make sure that your main class extends Java plugin. And uh, make sure that your listener class implements listener. For this example, I'm just going to make my main class implement listener. And then I'm going to unenable. I'm going to get server, get plugin manager. I'm going to register events in my listener class, which is this class, and my plugin class, which is this class. So we're going to make a at event handler. And we're going to make an event, and we're going to call it public void on entity explode. And this is going to be called entity explode event. So this is where an entity explodes, such as TNT or creeper or I don't know anything that explodes. This event will get called. So first of all, we're going to want to uh, event dot set cancel. We're going to set this cancel. We don't want anything really to happen. Actually, no. Let's let's leave it uncancelled. We'll see. You'll see. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> so. In this method, what we first of all want to do is we're going to want to loop through every single block. We're going to make a new block and we're going to make it fly. We're going to make a new falling block. We're going to make it. We're going to change the velocity. We're going to set the vector to something where it goes flying in a random direction, and then we're going to remove the block previously. So to do this, there's an event. There's a method in Entity Explode Event which is called Block List, and that returns all the blocks that are affected by this this method. So to get that, we're going to make a loop, and we're going to say for block b colon event dot block list. So then import block from org dot bucket dot block dot block, and this is going to loop through every single block that is affected by this explosion. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to make a new falling block. So actually no, we're going to make first of all we're going to make three floats. Uh, so types of data that are going to be the x, y, and z value for the direction this block is going to fly. And to do this, we have I'm going to use a little sort of equation that, that calculates a random direction between two numbers. So I'm going to type it out, and I'm going to speak it, and then I'll explain it in a second. So it's going to cast it to float, and we're going to say negative 5 plus, and then class to float, class to float, and then the brackets, and then we're going to say math.random which returns a number between 0 and 1, multiplied by double brackets, 5 minus minus 5, and then plus 5, like so. Um, okay, like that. OK, so we basically, we pick a number but we want it to be between. Um, sorry, this should, this should be plus, plus 1. So first of all, we we pick a number that we want it to be between. So in this case, I want it to be between five and negative five for the for the velocity that it goes at, which is a fair fair amount. So we say the negative value of that number plus, and then a number between zero and and one multiplied by the positive value. Subtract the you know the negative value of that number and then plus one. So this could obviously be simpled down, simplified a lot, but just for sort of seeing it purposes, this is how you sort of remember it. So if we were to actually make a main method up here, so let's make a main method, public static void main and then string args and open this out and we just just print it out, so siso siso and then we printed out the number that we wanted this to be, like so. Uh, let's get this all formatted. So obviously you don't need to do this, I'm just sort of showing it for example's sake. Uh, like that. Okay, and then we ran this. We see down in console that it's 0 0.3510, whatever. And then if we run it again, it's 1.99, 1 1.6, 1.4, negative 3.95. So it's it's not going out of the bounds of of what we want it to go between. So what we are now going to do is we're going to make two more of these. So if we copy this down, copy this down, so for x, y, and z, 
And I think we want y to be like a little bit more. So let's move this up to sort of six. So replace all these numbers down here with six like that. Um, okay, and there we go. So now what we want to do is we want to spawn a falling block. So we're going to say falling block, uh, falling block equals, and then we want to get the block. So block dot get world dot spawn falling block at the location of the block. So block dot get location. Uh, the, we did this last tutorial, so we're going to then say b dot get data, not b dot get data, uh, b dot get type id, and then b dot get data. Or we don't need to put get type id, we need to put get type, because that's how good Bucket is with us. So we're spawning that block there, and then now what we can do is we can just call a few methods within falling block. So falling block dot set drop item false. We don't want it to drop an item if it breaks. And then we want to say falling block dot set velocity, and we're going to set the velocity as a new vector. I've done vectors before as well, and it's going to be x, y, and z for the vectors that we just for the velocities that we just created. And finally, we're going to say block dot set type material dot air. So we're saying is air, like so. And that is it. Yeah, we can obviously just add the suppress warnings just so it gets rid of the the warnings, which are annoying. <laughs> so, if we uh, export this and put it on your server, I will see you in game. Okay, right, so, we are back in the game. So, as you can see, <laughs> we have this metropolis over here that we want to destroy. Uh, so, if we just sort of stick some, stick some TNT in the wall and explode it, we'll see that when it explodes, blocks are gonna fly out everywhere. See the velocities are actually like I'd say probably too high for this right now. So we'll see if this does anything different. Put it in the ground. You see they fly off all about the place. Uh, I'm just gonna lower down I'm just gonna lower these down a bit so we have more like two yeah that seems more like it. Two two and then keep these like three. Um, so obviously you can fiddle around with this a lot and these can be like two point Five and stuff like that. So yeah, let's put 2.5, just for example's sake. Like <laughs> 2.5, uh, 2.5, like so. So if we uh, if we export this and reload the server, I can type right. And then if we do this again, so if we take this in the ground, blow it up, we're gonna see that they go sort of that little bit less far. See the other ones were going a lot further up. These ones still going these are still going like extremely far, but a lot less so than the other ones were. We do it again. See that we get this nice sort of explosion effect. And all the blocks in there have just turned into nothing. So it's it's actually it's displacing things. It's not like it's it's not and you see the grass ones turn into grass ones. It's not like it's just randomly throwing blocks up, it's actually taking the blocks and throwing them up. The ones that would normally get destroyed have actually been just moved. It's not like we're just removing a load and then... Yeah, <laughs> you can understand what I mean. It's actually displacing the block. So yeah, it's, it's a nice trick to do. It's something that you can play around with a lot. I recommend playing around with it a lot because it, this tutorial is just sort of how to show you how to do a basics and then you can imp like sort of add it to lots of stuff. If we actually, if we make it night time and we spawn a uh, creeper, you'll see that if I game mode zero and then, okay, I'm gonna die. You see that it still, it blows up the stuff. So if we spawn a load of, oh, uh, <laughs> let's spawn a load of them. Uh, creeper. Let's spawn a few, and then if I get the uh, the golden apple thing, I don't know if this is gonna work. I don't know if I'm gonna die or not. Game mode zero. They're gonna follow me. Ah, right. Here we go. So we're gonna see them all explode, and like all the blocks are flying everywhere. So it's taking the blocks that they they get rid of, and they're actually just gonna fly about the place. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope this helps. Any questions or anything, email me at ben at the bcbrosbucket.com. Link is at the bcbrosbucket.com. If you want to go to the bcbrosbucket.com, you can click on contact us on there and you can contact me through that as well. So, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.